Now we're gonna see how to read and write from NFC tags. Here I have an NFC card or RFID card and here I have an NFC tag. You can buy them over Amazon.com or AliExpress. They come in quantities and they are very cheap. These are both readable and writable NFC tags. On your Android device or even on your iPhone device, uh, you can install a couple of applications that can read and write from those tags. I have installed NFC Tools uh, application and you can read, write and do various tasks on these using this application. So let us first try to read, for example, the card here, uh, NFC tag detected and as you can see it is empty, doesn't have any record. You can write to this NFC tag, I'll just delete that. You can add a record and you can add anything. You can add a text, URL, you can have a link to your social media network, a video, application, email, even contact. These are the new contact or uh, business cards using NFC. You can have phone number, SMS, location, address, etc. So you can actually read and write anything to this card. For the sake of simplicity, I'll just add a URL the name of the Academy, Exploit Academy, and I'll just press on write, it's 22 bytes. So I'll put my phone close to the tag, and as you can see, the write has been completed. Now, if I go to the read again and try to read the card, NFC tag detected, if you go down, you'll see that the record zero is exploitacademy.com. So if you press on that and go to open, the website will open. We can do the same using the keychain tag. Just try to read it here. Abracadabra. You can do the same using the keychain tag. So just try to read it and NFC tag detected. It has a zero record. You can as well go to the right and add any record here and you'll be able to do the same. One more thing that you can do is that you can erase the tag. So remember that we have some records here. You can erase the tag by approaching the NFC tag. And here you go, erase complete. You can read the memory, format the memory, etc. You can do many things. So here we're doing that on tags that we own, but actually it's a risk when you do that for people having those tags in their wallets just by installing the appropriate application getting it closer to the tag you will be able to read and even write to those types of tags so another thing i want to share with you guys is the ability to read credit cards so here i have another tool called credit card reader you press on that and you'll be able to read cards and tap cards even if they are in the wallets of people. For that, it's advisable to get these RFID shields or RFID wallets. Let me demonstrate something here for you. That's my card. And I'll just, I'll just remove that old card. And uh, suppose that this is a card of, that is in the wallet of someone you don't know. Just, just by typing that, you'll be able to read the card. So here for security purposes, it's asking you to enter four digits. This is for this application, but obviously other applications might not ask you to do that. So you'll be easily, you, you'll be able to scan those cards easily.